Hey guys, what's up? So basically I got that gym session done, which was really good. It is currently quarter past seven and I'm about to head out for 18 miles. I will catch up with you when I get back from the run, basically. Cheers guys. All right guys, so I am two miles in and I've got incredible pain in my left foot. It's absolutely killing. And basically I just think it's these shoes. I, I don't know. It's just like about them. I just hate running in them. Um, so it's these. The uh, the Epic React 2s and the Flyknit ones. As soon as I start running them, I get knee pain, I get ankle pain, and I get foot pain. It's just a nightmare. So what I'm going to do is I'm going home now and I'm buying a pair of on runnings. I'm just doing it because I just want to run in those shoes again. I just, they're so much better. I think I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> so obviously yesterday's 18 miles went so well where I gave up two miles in because of pain everywhere. So today I'm going for nine miles because that is what the plan would have been anyway. And I'm gonna to swap to the other shoes uh, and see how it goes. But I'm gonna get soaked because it is absolutely pissing down. Uh, it's proper windy. Oh, the joys. Oh well, let's go do it. Cool, I'll see you when I'm back guys. That's uh, nine miles done. That felt all right, to be honest. <laughs> it's mad, so change the shoes, no pain, nothing. Absolutely no pain at all. So that is wicked. I did that in an hour 12, that was nine miles. So I averaged about 8.04 per mile. So you're really happy with that. But just amazed how there was just no pain whatsoever, literally nothing. It was like completely different. So I'm 100% sure it's those shoes. So I'm so glad I bought myself some cloud flows. <laughs> hey guys, so it is the end of Tuesday now. Uh, yeah, and today's a, a bit of an odd one because basically I have just posted a video uh, about why I'm uh, specifically supporting Cry. And if you haven't watched the video, go ahead and watch it. Um, but yeah, it's super personal. I don't really fancy talking about it again right now. Um, but yeah, that has gone live, which is a bit weird. Morning guys, it is Wednesday morning. Uh, so basically just for some context, it is the morning after I posted a video about my sister and the donations have gone absolutely ballistic. <laughs> like, uh, unbelievable I it, in the space of about two hours we went from just under 800 quid to just over a thousand pounds that's nuts <laughs> like it's so insane thank you so much that is that's so cool um yeah uh, and uh, and that really really helped me because I was so terrified about posting that video I've had that video for ages, you can tell because my hair was still long in it. That's how long ago it was, because I got my hair cut like five weeks ago after all the lockdown stuff, and my hair was still long in that video, so that's how long I've had it, just sat there waiting to be posted, um, and how long I've been sort of like going over it and going over it and deciding to post it. Uh, so I finally did last night, and... Uh, yeah, well, that was the result. So thank you so much. I couldn't have asked for any, yeah, the, the support couldn't have been any better than that really, could it? That was uh, amazing, thank you so much. So I am about to go and do 25 miles right now. And then I'm gonna do 20 miles later on. I am so tired, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, I'm just, just gonna go do it and just, yeah, just be happy, uh, which is good. So that's that's the plan. It is currently eight minutes past seven. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna basically finish my coffee and head out the door and not do a nice like three and a half hour run. 
miles. Fifteen miles, feeling very good. Thinking about possibly making this run a bit longer than 25 miles. Shortening the second one today. because basically when I got when I got to the end of the lane um, I was at 28.3 miles um, and yeah, I can't stop when it's not on zeros because some weird form of OCD when I run those 29 miles that took four hours eight minutes quite happy with that I think the pace was like yeah pace was 8.34 per mile um, so yeah really really happy with that yeah that's not happening is it 4.6 hours more like Hello. So, it's quarter past five. It's very nice weather outside. That's a plus. We're going to go through all the pluses first. I can't think of any more. <laughs> so I've got to do run two now, which is 16 miles. And this is the worst my legs have ever felt on double run day. They feel really sore. Not sore, but just tired super 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 tired um yeah the, i think the most tired they probably ever felt but just specifically my legs like i don't feel tired in myself i feel pretty good but my legs just do feel knackered oh yeah so <laughs> trying to build up the courage to go and run it's it's escaping me at the moment the legs hurt like mad but also the donations have gone so mental that I'm just inspired by you all to go and run. So that's really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, get out the door now. Here we go. So this is the start of run two. This is always the worst bit, like the first like four steps. And then it just gets worse from there, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I was wrong. It's not the worst bit, is it? Here we go. Three, two, one, and... I've just hit 11 marks which means I've done 40 miles today. So the way I think about this now is every single step is a PB for distance in the day. But just because it's a PB each step, I still gotta to get to 45 miles. Because that's the goal. That's the target I set. That's the target I'm keeping. 45 mile a day, get in. And the best thing, that last mile was a 650. <laughs> 
fastest mile of the whole day. 45 miles, last mile was the fastest. It just felt good towards the end and I was like, I am going for this. I am getting a sub seven. I got 6.50 after 44 miles. Get in. <laughs> it's Thursday morning. Uh, I'm really excited because my new shoes are coming. It, uh, I got a delivery window of between 8.30 and 11.15. It's currently half 10. 45 minutes to go. <laughs> so this morning I'm really tired. I woke up with a horrible like crick in my neck. Crick in my neck? Crick in my neck? Something in my neck. My neck hurts, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, my knees hurt, my ankles hurt. Oh, I'm just in pain. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's today, but my shoes are coming, so I'm really excited about that. It is not a run day, it's absolutely pissing it down as well. Um, I'm not going to run today, even though new, new shoes are coming. I suppose I could do a 5k. I'm not going to run today. The donations have gone over £1,100. Like, I'm checking now, I'm getting on the Virgin Money app. £1,115. Yes. So I set the target at two grand thinking that by the time I actually do this challenge, we'll probably be getting towards a thousand pounds. And then when I do it, we'll probably hit the target, maybe go a little bit over, maybe get to like 2,200, something like that. But I wasn't thinking that would happen until the day. And I was thinking like we would hit a thousand pounds like a week, two weeks before the challenge. Uh, so, yeah, we're a year out, so actually, that's, oh, ooh, 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 we're gonna, um, we're, we're gonna do a bit of a weird clip now, because I'm gonna look at the computer and kind of half ignore the camera, uh, calendar, I think we're exactly a year out, or maybe a year and a day, um, can I go to yearly view, yearly view, yearly view, so the date I want, oh no, two days up, two days up. Oh, so, right, so if I get the date I want for this challenge, I will be starting exactly a year today. Holy, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, look at this. Look at that plane. That is massive and so low. Whoa. Yeah, that was mental. Um, <laughs> where was I? Um, okay, cool. So, um, yeah, uh, big plane. But basically, yeah, so it's exactly a year today that I will be starting. So in a year's time, I will, I should be, if I imagine I start at the time I'm thinking of, I should be 35 minutes into the run. That is terrifying. Okay, cool. Cool. So, we got new shoes. Get in. Uh, yeah, let's just crack them open, shall we? Because I want to look at them. <laughs> so excited to run in these. So I haven't run in Cloudflow's probably like six or seven weeks. 
quite a while now. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to be running in these. I am gonna go do 10 miles today. My legs are really tired from 45 miles on Wednesday, even after a rest day. Uh, yeah, they're still pretty tired. My knees are a little bit sore, but yeah, I'm gonna go do a, a huge load of foam rolling and then run, but I'm just so, so excited because I get to run in these. I absolutely love these shoes. What's up? So my last gym set of the week is done. I did 10 mile run earlier in the new shoes. They are just better than I remember. They're ridiculous, they're just so good. You know, like sometimes when you have a thing and you're like, oh yeah, that was amazing. You don't have it for ages and you kind of big it up in your mind, big it up in your mind. And then when you have it, it's not as good as you thought it was. I was really worried that was gonna happen with these shoes, but they were just like 10 times better than I thought they were. I was running and I just, like, I just started like smiling and laughing because I just couldn't believe how amazing the shoes felt. So basically as soon as the other Nikes have had like 600 miles on them, I'm just getting another pair of Ons. And I'm just going completely full out all on running trainers because they're just insane. Um, but yeah, so 10 miles was really, really good. I did it at uh, 7.12 per mile. I guess, so it is Saturday afternoon, pretty much almost evening now. So I need to do a 14 mile run today, which I'm gonna get in a little bit later. I think it's gonna be a bit of a late one. Probably not gonna get out there until about half six, because I'm currently trying to export last week's video. And uh, yeah, it's on 2%. So I am back. The only problem is I'm nine miles short. So asthma. Mm, basically killed that run <laughs> which is great so I haven't had asthma running for I don't know maybe three years so yeah I was aiming for 14 miles about three and a half miles in funny as as I was running downhill I'd done all the uphill and then I was running downhill started to uh, like feel this like wheezy chair taste blood in my mouth <clears throat> um, and uh, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, this is a bit horrible. See what happens. Breathing started getting really tight. So I, I carried on for another mile until about four and a half miles. And I was like, yeah, okay, this is still feeling really, really rubbish. And then basically over the next half mile, getting it towards five miles, it just got worse and worse and worse and worse to the point where I was basically walking. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, and then I gave up and phoned home and asked to be picked up so yeah great <sighs> hate hate ending runs early and that's two this week that's just so irritating so yeah i'm gonna try and do nine miles tomorrow it's going to be a rest day but i'm not doing a rest day um nine miles tomorrow and i will get to 80 miles for the week Hey guys, so it is uh, Sunday evening and I've had really good day today. So asthma last night wasn't too bad, did not sleep great, but felt all right in the morning. Uh, so my cousin's down and we went for a run this morning. They wanted to do 5K, so I joined them for 5K and then I extended it and went on and made up nine miles. So I've hit 80 miles for the week. So that's the highest weekly mileage ever. And on Wednesday, I smashed out a 45 miler. So that is the highest mileage in one day. So super, super happy with the progress this week. Thank you so much for the response to that video. That, that really, really, helped the way you all responded to that that was amazing because the when i posted that video the donations were at 795 and we are now over 1200 pounds and that happened within the space of about 48 hours most of it happened within sort of 10 hours of releasing the video i feel like i want to shake the trend up a little bit so basically next week i'm going to try david goggins 4x4x48 <laughs> i've ordered a head torch and I'm going to give it a go, starting on Tuesday. So that's the plan. Uh, I think that would be really, really fun. I am going to see you in week 13. And I do not think 13 is an unlucky number, so I'm going to smash it on week 13, not me. Let's do it. Take it easy, guys. I shall see you in week 13. Can't get the bloody lens cap on. Yeah, did it.